Meanwhile, today, the fiancé of an ATM worker who was killed during a robbery says that she worried about his safety, all because of his job. CBS 11's J.D. Miles spoke to her and also his parents, who now want to see the person responsible caught. He kissed us goodbye and said he loved us and he'll be home soon. Amara Voth recalls the last time she saw her fiancé, Jose Montez, before the 28-year-old headed to work stocking and servicing ATMs. A job that required qualities she says Montez had. A lot of courage, but it's a very dangerous job. It was at this ATM on Cockrell Hill Road Monday morning where a man with a rifle and wearing a jacket with police on it robbed Montez and shot him before leaving the scene with a woman in a white Volkswagen Passat. Montez died at a hospital, leaving behind a five month old son. I'm angry. I'm angry, very angry, devastated that I've lost him. He lost his father. They got what they wanted. Why did they have to take his life? The victim's family spent today planning a funeral for a young man who thought about becoming a police officer and had dreams of starting a fitness business. Montez's parents say they won't be able to heal until whoever took away their son is captured. They took him away from me. Whoever did this to him, please. You don't know. What you come to uh, the pain that we have right now. I don't want anybody to go through this. I just want someone to let us know who was that person and why you do that to my son. Dallas police, with help from the FBI, are still searching for the gunman and his accomplice. In Dallas, JD Miles, CBS 11 News.